Hi, this is Andy here at Wonder Festival, and I'm here at the 3D GAN, 3D GAN, that's 3D Geometry Application Network area, where the different makers are showing some of their different uh, 3D uh, technologies that they're using to make different stuff. And so this is one of the booths here that's called Hot Proceed, and I thought I'd take a look at uh, one of these machines here that uh, is making this uh, sort of 3D quill here, I guess this is the final product down here. And you can see here that the uh, material is coming from a thread that's connected to the spindle up on top. And this is just one of the methods that they use here to make uh, these 3D items. And there's a number of different ones here. There's another one here that does uh, different types of uh, injection molding and uh, other ones using uh, different methods to make uh, plastic models and different materials. But this is one particular method here and take a look at some of the things that they've made this, uh, this particular company, Hot Proceed. I thought it was kind of interesting here. And recently at Wonder Festival, they have had uh, these types of 3D, 3D gun uh, exhibits where you could take a look at some of the methods used to uh, make these toys and uh, they distribute literature and give information and one of the most interesting things is they actually show you uh, some of the final products and you can take a look here uh, over the years uh, the quality and material has sort of gotten better and better and uh, this is pretty interesting here take a look at this skull down here you know? I still think a lot of 3D stuff has kind of got a waxy look to it. Um, it seems to be improving a little bit over time, and some of the details they're using, um, some of the details of, of the materials that they make are getting better and better, but it still seems to me that a lot of the 3D toys still being made still kind of have that waxy look to it. So here's uh, some of the different types of uh, colors that they have here on these spindles. And give you a look here at their uh, brochure that's hot proceed. And so pull back a bit and so you can see here this uh, area that they call the 3D gun area has got maybe five or six or so different uh, exhibitors here. Um, and I think it's a neat side of the toy making process that um, they show us, and I, I think it's pretty cool. So, all right. Thanks for uh, having a look and see you next time.